57% of voters, the highest in his presidency, strongly disapprove of President Biden's presidency. This is according to a New York Times Siena College poll. 17% of voters strongly approve of his handling of the presidency. And these results come from the end of February and polled 980 voters. Let's bring in editor in chief of The Hill, Bob Cusack, to uh, set us up for later on this evening. Bob, speech of his life later tonight. Will America want to rehire him again? Well, this is the beginning of his case for a second term, and he's got to do a lot of things. The coalition that elected Biden in 2020 has been basically crumbling. He's got to uh, shore up his base, so, which has been weakened. He's also lost independence, and that's the key. Uh, both independents are uh, they're wary of both Trump and Biden. So this is a huge speech for Biden. He's got to show he's up for the job at his age. Obviously, there have been major questions uh, about that. Uh, and he's got to talk about the economy and immigration. And I do think he's going to try to bait Republicans uh, on immigration. And it's going to be tough for them to bite their tongue. But without a doubt, uh, the pressure is on the president. Yeah. I, also, this speech comes, I mean, it's just days after that New York Times poll found that 61 percent of President Biden's uh, own voters back in 2020 think he's just too old for the presidency. Uh, Bob, let's say he does hit it out of the park tonight. I mean, is that enough to quell concerns? You're talking about a very controlled environment. He's surrounded by his team, teleprompters, not answering questions from reporters. Well, yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I think he's going to need a good night, but he's going to need follow through on that. We just uh, ran a story about how Democrats are, are are hitting the panic button because they're seeing the polls. I mean, Joe Biden is losing in many battleground states, including Michigan, which I think is a, a must win uh, for the president, a state he won uh, in 2020. So I think he's going to have to follow it up uh, with, you know, a bit of a PR blitz, which we usually see. But this president hasn't been media accessible, and that's going to have to be a challenge for this White House. Obviously, uh, the, uh, the president does make gaffes like po other politicians from time to time. Uh, but he's got to be out there. And uh, former uh, President Donald Trump is out there. He's getting a lot of free media. He's dominated this week, had a great week uh, with his Super T Tuesday wins. It's going to be interesting to see if Biden addresses uh, the former president, even uh, maybe not directly, but indirectly. Remember that Biden said that uh, he predicted that after he won in 2020, the, the Trump fever would break. Well, that prediction wasn't true. Yeah, what do you make of, uh, you know, President Trump? He's going to be offering a play-by-play, a, play, a critique in real time of this State of the Union. What are you expecting from that? Oh, I think he's, that's just uh, an effort, I think, to to bait the, the president. I mean, they're going to be baiting one another. This is going to be a very nasty race. And uh, we'll see if there's even a, a debate. Uh, Trump says he wants to debate Biden. Obviously, Trump didn't participate in any of the primary debates. And that was probably a good decision because he ended up winning big. Uh, so I, I do think that they're going to be trying to get in their heads uh, over the next uh, eight months or so. Uh, and and that's going to be that could be tiresome for the American people. Uh, we shall see. But this is going to be, without a doubt, a very nasty mudslinging type of race. Yeah, no doubt about it. Last question for you, Bob, before I let you go. Uh, what's your bet on how long he's going to speak? Because I'm wondering it'll be if it'll be longer than usual just to say, hey, look, you know, he still got it. Look at the stamina. Yeah, well, last year's was, uh, it, I think it was about an hour and 13 minutes in that range. I think we're going to see about the same. You know, he's got to be up there for a, a long time. He's going to be on his feet. Uh, and he's got to look robust, and that's going to be key. He's been preparing for this, not doing a lot of public appearances this week. Uh, so I think he's got to mention a lot of things, uh, and he's got to to do it in a certain way that convinces uh, people uh, to vote for him, or at least to give him a second chance for people who have strayed, maybe voted for him in 2020, but are unsure if they're going to vote for him again. Uh, so I do think it's going to be uh, definitely an hour, uh, maybe 70 minutes. Okay, well, I'll be watching closely, as I know will you. Bob Cusack, good to see you again. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.